Google looks to be testing a change to the way Chrome opens up web pages when browsing the Discover feed or from search results. The new UI displays a floating web browser window instead of having the page take up the entire screen. So with this change, we end up losing a little bit of height since it isn't loading the page using the entire display, but it does make it easier to go back to where we had originally come from, whether that be the Discover feed or a search result. The new change is still loading these pages in a custom Chrome tab, and we still have quick access to commonly used actions like saving the page as a bookmark or sharing the URL. It's just changing the way some web pages are rendered on the screen. We can take a look at this new change by again doing a regular Google search and then selecting one of the options. You can see here, instead of the browser taking up the full screen, it's using this floating tab instead. Again, we have the share, bookmark, and our other options in the drop down menu. While being able to swipe the card down or simply tapping the X to dismiss it. This, this new, new UI is also showing up in the Google Discover feed. So again, if we're browsing this the Discover feed and we open up a web page, you can see some of the web pages are opening up in this new floating UI tab. I'm reading that Google is trying to intelligently pick which method web pages are being displayed. We saw how the new floating UI window looks, but also side by side, we're seeing some results continue to use the full screen page whenever rendering that website. This could be due to the type of content being displayed on the website although I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what the cause is for loading a page in the floating as opposed to loading the full screen. This new change appeared on my Google Pixel device that is running the beta version of the Google app. You can see right now I'm on version 13.38 but I've also seen this working on the beta version of version 13.37 of the Google app. You can opt in to the beta version of the Google application directly from the Play Store, as I did on this device, or you could sideload the APK that you downloaded from a website like APK Mirror. With this update, there is also a new toggle associated with this feature. It's tucked away in the settings of the Google application. So after you open up the Google Discover feed, you can go into the settings by tapping on your profile picture. And from here, we just dive into the general tab. And we have an option here labeled open web pages in the app. If we disable, this option, then when we go back, you can see that it is not using the floating UI. Instead, it's going back to the full screen version. So if you're not a fan of this new change, at least know that you can go in and disable this toggle to stop those websites from loading in the floating UI. I can see the benefits of having this new floating window UI as the default method for opening up websites, but I can also see it messing with people as they have become accustomed to how things were before, especially with losing a bit of height on the, web, on the website. 
but at least they have added in that toggle so that this new feature that is in beta can be disabled.